Hi friends, my name is Swapnil. I am from Stack. Today we are going to discuss about role of quality assurance in pharmaceutical industry. So let's go for that. Now the first question, what is quality assurance? Quality assurance is the sum total of the organized arrangements with the objective of ensuring that product will be of the quality required for their intended use. From this picture you will get an idea that good manufacturing practices is a part of a quality assurance system whereas quality control is part of a GMP. Now the next question, what is GMP? GMP is good manufacturing practices. GMP is that part of quality assurance aimed at ensuring that products are consistently manufactured to a quality appropriate to their intended use. Now moving further, what is quality control or QC? QC is that part of GMP concerned with sampling, specification and testing, documentation and release procedures which ensures that the necessary and relevant tests are performed and the product is released for use only after ascertaining its quality. Now let us talk more about quality assurance concept. Quality assurance is a wide ranging concept. It is covering all matters that individually or collectively influence the quality of a product. It is a totality of the arrangements made with the object of ensuring that pharmaceutical products are of the quality required for their intended use. QA therefore incorporates GMP and other factors such as product design and development. Now what are the responsibilities of QA? QA is responsible to ensure that pharmaceutical products are designed and developed in a way that takes account of the requirement of GMP and other associated codes such as GLP means good laboratory practices and GCP good clinical practices to ensure production and control operations are clearly specified in written form and GMP requirements and adopted. Managerial responsibilities are clearly specified in job descriptions. Arrangements are made for the manufacturer's supply and use of correct starting and packaging material. Satisfactory arrangements exist to ensure as far as possible that the pharmaceutical product are stored by the manufacturer distributed and subsequently handled so that quality is maintained throughout their shelf life. There is a procedure for self inspection and quality audit that regularly appraises the effectiveness and applicability of the quality assurance system. The manufacturer must assume responsibility for the quality of pharmaceutical products to ensure that they are fit for their intended use. Further, to achieve the quality objective reliably, there must be a comprehensively designed and correctly implemented system of QA incorporating GMP and quality control. It should be fully documented and effectiveness is monitored. All parts of quality assurance system should be adequately staffed with competent personnel and should have suitable and sufficient premises, equipment and facilities. Look at this diagram. In this diagram, this is called as documentation pyramid. In this pyramid at the apex, 
there is a base document called as quality policy every organization has this quality policy which is always at the first level at the top in the second level there are administrative procedures or commitment documents such as site master file validation master plan cleaning validation master plan and other commitment documents at the third level there are documents which are derived from commitment level documents like sops protocols work instructions master batch records etc and at the fourth level which is a base level it contains technical records such as executed batch manufacturing records operating formats including photographs and drawings now what are key elements of qa quality policy quality manual validation master plan quality risk management site master file system sops internal auditing system gmp review system it may be a pharmaceutical quality system management review or a gmp committee review process cleaning method computer system and personal validation vendor qualification and evaluation qualification of equipment calibration of instrument management of change deviations incident handling market complaint and product recall product quality review document control training of employee which is basically consist of induction training classroom training on job training external training master batch record maintenance now every qa person should have some qualities should have some skill set such as good knowledge expertise about industry skill over all processes he must be objective he must be unprejudiced he must be consummated must have problem solving skill must have sound technical knowledge must be vigilant at all times and must know all the industry standards and regulations now the next question what is the difference between qa and qc qa is the sum total of organized arrangements made with the objective of ensuring that product will be of quality required by their intended use whereas QC is that part of GMP which is concerned with sampling specification testing and within the organization documentation and release of the product release procedures which ensures that the necessary and relevant tests are carried out in QA all those plan or systematic actions necessary to provide adequate confidence that a product will satisfy the requirement for the quality whereas in qc operational laboratory techniques and activities are used to fulfill the requirement of quality so friends in case you have any query any question with this topic you can send us an email to these mail ids or you can also visit to our website www.stackskillcenter.com or you can call us on these numbers so friends please remember you learn from experience you learn better from bad experience Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please share it to maximum. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will be back very soon with a new topic. Till time, you take care and bye bye.